All right, clap for me. Um, wait, so this is for the Hero 3 mesh? Just that? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Am I good? Whatever you want. What's up, everyone? This is Deemer Class, the assistant women's lacrosse coach at USC, ECD athlete, and PLL Chaos midfielder. Today, we're going to be breaking in a new ECD offensive rebel head with the new Hero 3 mesh. Fired up to check it out. Let's get rocking. Week six in DC is Deemer Class. Oh. Casually picks the corner past Burmore. We were just talking about how it was Greg to start out, and Greg only, because I knew every single difference. All right, but as I got more comfortable, Nick started stringing them, Austin strings my girl sticks. I still have a mid to high pocket. I think over the years, I've gone up and down in terms of the amount of whip that I have. I think right now, I've gotten comfortable with a pocket that has a pretty quick release, um, but I still feel confident uh, passing the ball and putting it on my teammates' sticks. Yeah, it's probably down at like, I'd say it's like a four whip. I feel like in college those sticks were like a seven. Yeah, so freshman year of college, I was playing with like a four or three whip. That thing by senior year, junior, senior year, that thing was like a seven or eight. Like I was very close to brownie, brownie like pockets. And we got, look at that, a brand new net. By the end of these first class lacrosse training sessions, the whole net will be falling down. All right, so usually what I do to break in my sticks, uh, for some of you young players out there, if you, use, if you saw the pockets and sticks that we used when we were growing up, the mesh was you know, doused in bottles of shampoo just to get this soft. So uh, you're super lucky, and I'm super lucky that I pretty much toss the ball in, wiggle it around a little bit, maybe give a light pound, and then we're off to the races, so. Where's the first shot go? Uh, top right, always. Oh! Everyone would have said it was fake anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Because we're going to edit it. Oh, and do that one. A little bit. There we go. Light. No. That's good. I'll probably adjust the bottom string a little bit, take out a little whip. And that way I can get it like loosened up. And then as it does loosen up, then I can kind of tie it exactly where I want it. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. <laughs> Literally, just like that. And then you just tie it. Right, so it's, it's dialed in now. It's dialed in, set it. that's all it took. Don't let the videos fool you. It's not all corners. And actually, that's false. That was five corners in a row. It's all corners when we train. Oh, man. I really jinxed myself. And that kind of a setup to where, you know, I can be, be versatile. You know, I always feel good about my shot, but, you know, want to keep growing as a player instead of just purely committing to doing one thing. Yeah, like that felt good. Like that comes out. That comes out a lot smoother. Like it doesn't have as much, um, doesn't have as much hook. The money ball right here. Uh, yeah, you want me to break this thing down? Thanks for checking out the video. 